Hey, it's Dr. Joe, your uh, light helmet guy, getting my morning transcranial photobiomodulation to help my brain. And I just want to point out that uh, November is National Family Caregiver Month. Okay? And uh, uh, join us in honoring millions of family members and friends serving as Alzheimer's caregivers. Honor a caregiver or share your caregiver's story. Okay? <clears throat> and that's really what it's all about, to, is it talking about my situation and taking care of my brain and my mother's brain uh, as an Alzheimer's patient. And I, I'm, an, I'm a really a kind of full-time Alzheimer's caregiver. And I'm helping people every day. So I just want to talk to, um, on what that really means, you know, it's a personal level, but let's just figure it out. If you look at future trends and the economic burdens of dementia in, uh, in Manitoba, comparison with the rest of the Canada in the world. And I said here, in general, dementias are progressive, irreversible neurodegenerative disorders that typically begin with a minor loss of intellectual functioning, mild cognitive impairment, and sometimes progress to severe cognitive impairment. Eventually, dementia patients become completely dependent on other people for personal care. That's, that's two people for every one dementia patient of care. Sometimes two, sometimes three, for every dementia patient of care. That's three times the care need. Dementia is actually an umbrella term of several forms of, of uh, exist as Alzheimer's disease, right? Dementia is Alzheimer's disease, vascular dementia, frontal temporal dementia, Lewy body dementia, dementia associated with Parkinson's disease, and mixed dementia, and all the genetic dementias, you know? Current, current studies are investigating whether each form of dementia has its own cause or results from multiple causes. Dementia affects not only the patient, but also has a profound effect on relatives. So the caregiver people, Okay, but the, the effect of relatives and society, this ripple effect, okay? And overall dementia is a costly deserve, disease in terms of economic loss and personal suffering. So it's a costly disease and economic, economic loss, personal suffering, and the more it happens, the more that this circle of damage is spread. There's currently no cure for Alzheimer's disease. However, right, courageous scientists are working very hard. These are the statistics, Manitoba, then Canada, then worldwide. I like to look at it this way, that a study from the Alzheimer's Disease International from the UK has reported the following estimated percentages of people living with dementia the estimated percentages of people as of 2015 by geographic region. The estimated percentage of people living in dementia in North America is 6.4%. With the problems with the diagnosis and that more than 50% of the people never hear the word dementia until it's too late, you know, active people around could easily be 10%, <clears throat> if not triple, if not 15. And then if we talk about, that's just dementia, if we talk about mild cognitive impairment, then it's, could be much greater. We could easily say 15%, maybe 20% of North American people are walking around with dementia or cognitive decline and creating this ripple of economic loss, social uh, uh, suffering, going to be a lot, right? Therefore, the global estimate of 47 million worldwide people living with dementia, which is more than the population of Canada. This number is expected to rise considerably, you know? And uh, this suggests that uh, the available studies, that the annual diagnosis of new dementias is 8 million people. And this suggests that one new dementia case is identified globally almost every four seconds with a reference, okay? In 2040, it is estimated that the rate of dementia cases is expected to rise by 100% in developed countries. However, in such, wait a minute, it's gonna rise 100% by 2040 once it gets going, tripling 
the number of individuals living with dementia is projected to double by 2030, 12 years from now. Subsequently triple in 2050. That means 2040, there would be a 100% rise. And in Southern Asia, China, India, Western Pacific, the rates are expected to decrease by 300 to 400% in this period. Our world is losing their mind. We have to come up with a way to help. And I think that transcranial photobiomodulation is a way. Okay. So get on more brain power, man. Do your brain work.